medicine science is kind of this perfect blending of science education and science research. And, you know, those are two things the academy does really, really well. And so we thought, why don't we start engaging the public outside of the academy walls to document biodiversity and also to teach them a little bit more about the scientific process. Citizen science is ordinary people doing research. I think that's one of the really great things about it is that it really reinforces that with a little bit of training, anybody can do real science. We're engaged in answering a real scientific research question that has conservation implications. We work up on Mount Tamalpais with the Marin Municipal Water District, and there we're working on documenting all the known plants in their watershed. We also work down at Pillar Point Reef, which is where the Maverick Surf Contest happens. And down there, our partner is the Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuary, and we're working on monitoring the biodiversity there. We have an important research question that we want to know, and we can't possibly mobilize the forces to answer that by ourselves. One of the things iNaturalist does is it's really a platform for citizen science. We're crowdsourcing the data that we need to make good decisions. The community of iNaturalist right now, it's about 25,000 strong, and it's really a combination of amateur naturalists, students, biologists, conservation people, land managers. We're also working with management organizations who can use the data that we're collecting to make policy changes or management changes in these areas to help conserve the species. It shows them that good conservation decisions are made on good science, and so we can provide the science, they can be a part of that, and then they can kind of see the path that leads to conservation. Once we have this pathway for making this stuff happen, how do we send the marching orders out? How do we get people on the ground to actually collect the data, organize people to do what's important for science and conservation? So I think that moving Cal Academy and iNaturalist together is gonna to be really exciting to try to scale this thing, but also make sure that people are, are doing the work that is really gonna to contribute to science and conservation in a really exciting way. How do we basically engage folks around the globe in answering some of these very pressing conservation questions.